Hello, beautiful souls. In church this morning, I was getting so excited. The worship song right before the sermon was the doxology of Jude. And as I was listening to it, I grabbed my Bible and started looking it down and frantically writing in my notebook the, the lyrics and the verses that this song was based off of. And I needn't done that because the entire sermon was on the book of Jude. And it really struck a chord in me. It really resonated with me with respect to the conversations that we've been having, that God does not approve of abuse. Um, and really in, in Jude, he says, for certain individuals whose condemnation was written about long ago have secretly sipped in among you. They are ungodly people who pervert the grace of God into a license for immorality. And this really struck accord with me because of my own experience being told that if I um, protested about uh, infidelity or about abuse that was going on, that I was living in unforgiveness. But that is not so. Um, forgiveness does not mean giving somebody else a license to abuse or to sin against you. You should be forgiving people from a safe distance. Forgiveness means letting go of the bitterness and resentment and anger and living the best life for you. And a lot of times that means away from them and that's okay. It's just letting go of those negative emotions so that they're not controlling you. So instead of that past experience controlling you, that situation controlling you, you are having the fruit of the spirit of self-control. These people are grumblers and fault finders. They follow their own evil desires. They boast about themselves and flatter others for their own advantage. Wow. And um, that was in verse 16. And the pastor had said that they preach the love of God as a smoke screen for sin. So in other words, they're not going to stop doing the sins against you, but they expect you to forgive those sins so that they can continue doing it. And that's not what we're called to do. We're called to elevate each other, to build each other up as iron sharpens iron. Grace is not an excuse to keep sinning. And it is okay to leave cheaters and beaters. Be free. And until next time, keep blue moon.